Hey guys, welcome to the latest episode of Swam Nation, the official podcast of the Star Wars Malaysia Fan Club. I'm, you know me, I'm Rafi, and I'm here with... Hello there, Sanjay. Sanjay. And... Hi there. Yeah, okay, that's hi there. Yeah, yeah that's okay. hi there. So, as you guys can see, we're recording today's episode from Animangaki. If you can uh, sort of see what's going on right behind us. We're in Hall 2, which is the collectibles hall, uh, upstairs, right? Um, and, uh, yeah, so... This is the first time we're actually doing something like this, recording live. Let's just call it live from the floor, right? Yeah, live, yeah, from, live the floor, from the floor. Yeah. yeah. And the reality is, you probably only see it like two months after. <laughs> after not that long, no. Okay, hopefully not. Yeah. Hopefully not that long. Yeah. Hopefully not that long. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be like outdated, especially for the subject material today, right? You exactly. Can't, like, really yeah. wait for two months. Yeah. Like, so yeah. yeah, this is proof we're at Animangaki. Yeah. Uh, I'm an anime gaki too. So. Yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah, definitely he is. Yeah. Okay. So, well, do we have any club news and updates and all that? Um. Yes, we do, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Uh, let's go and start, I guess, with membership, right? Yeah. So, we actually did bring out the memberships that actually didn't deal for quite a while. Those yeah. who have actually, ah, you know, yes. we've sent it out, but for some reason, they didn't come back to us. Yes. That's right. So, we brought them as in one of our bags around here. And so if come you guys, and collect, come and collect. Yeah. But no, well, but this is the problem though, yeah, because yeah, if yeah. this does come out two yeah. months from now, they'd be like, yeah, but you're telling us oh, now. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, it's on our wall too, don't worry, guys. We, we, we hope that you guys will come and collect it today. <laughs> yeah, and if they yeah. don't... And um, if we don't, uh, it will be uh, reflected in the Facebook post when we put this up, like yes. whether we actually collected uh, right. you guys collected your passes exactly. or your passes, your membership. But the rest, yeah. my parts will come on. Yeah, um, yeah exactly. But furthermore, pursuant to that as well, all the memberships from June onwards are in the process of being processed and they will be mailed out mid-September or so. So you guys should have it before our yeah. event at Star Wars uh, Reads, which is Star October Reads, the 10th, October 10th yes. right? And the Saturday. idea there is 10th, 10th. 10th Saturday, yeah. All right. Yeah, Saturday, that's right. Okay. So yeah, that's it for club updates and news, I think. There's nothing else really pertaining. Yeah. We I have know, lots it's, it's of all, events. Yeah, we're we have lots of events. Yeah, we're at Animangaki. We're going to be at Star Wars Reads. Hot chicks around, hot chicks around. Yeah. That's, that's official, yeah. Yeah, definitely so. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, is it Star Wars Reads is official. Uh, what's the date again? 10th, 10th September? 10th of October. 10th of October. Yes. Okay. 10th of we'll October, be, Star Wars Reads. Right, and we've actually got confirmation because we're actually partnering or collaborating with MPH for this. Yes. So MPH has graciously decided to be the venue sponsors of our event. And we'll be probably having it at the MPH at New Central. Yes, because that's pretty much the largest one. Yeah, yeah okay. because yeah. it's the largest area for well, us. To everyone set up can come things. anyway with LRT, that's right, yeah. KTM, and Monorail. You know, Very they have no excuse on not coming. That's right. <laughs> and all the LRTs and Monorails will be running. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Running sure. normally. Yeah. Normally. Yeah, you know, we, we, we live in fervent hope that they'll be running normally. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which means we get delays and stuff. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you know, yeah. what, what, what can you do, right? What can you do? Exactly. Yeah, so let's see. Th th that's future events. Uh, I, I think we've covered. Uh, we're still working on uh, other things that we can't really talk about right now. Just yet. There is a possibility of, uh, you know, a movie marathon. I think I think everybody knows we're planning on having a movie, movie marathon right. at some point uh, yeah. before The Force Awakens. And of course, there's a TFA screening. Um, that's right. Everybody's paid. And it's all settled, yep. I think, right? Yeah, that's right, pretty yeah. much, yeah. yeah. So uh, everything is all fully settled for the screenings, the marathons, we are still working on it. Mm -hmm. But uh, because of uh, certain you know, restrictions or so uh, with Lucasfilm and Disney, we are not going to reveal anything just yet. So you'll find out more as the time comes, November. Just be patient, guys, patient. Right. And you know, finally I can show you guys what my table looks like. It's a cross! Saber, cross saber, cross guard saber, cross guard saber. Yes, there we go. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. Wow. And, and can I? Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I'm saying that uh, over here we've got a lot of people, and also we are looking and uh, shouting out for volunteers uh, for our events that's gonna come. Uh, I think I've actually made it in the Facebook. So please, anybody who wants to, you can either PM Sanjeev, Rafi, or myself. Not just Start me. Start with Sean first. PM please, Sean. Please. Then sure, Rafi, sure. then Sanjay. Yeah, okay. It's a wide angle. They can still see you. Don't worry. So. Uh, <laughs> I just wanted to make sure that the okay, mic, the mic, the mic yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes, but please PM Sean, Sean first. Sean first. Sean first. As club president. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm nobody. Yeah. <laughs> yet. I'm just a host. Yet. I'm just the Not host yet. of a of an internet radio show. So yeah, that's all. Okay, so we yeah, all so begin please. somewhere. Yeah. Every generation has a legend. Every journey has a first step. Every oh, yeah. saga has a beginning. 
But I would like to say thank you to the volunteers that are here with us today. Yes. Uh, I'd like yeah, to thank uh, Arif, yeah. who is behind the camera right now. Oh, yeah, um, I, Jeremy. Jeremy. Yes, I put your hand in front of the camera. Jeremy, yeah, that's, that's Arif. And then we right have what, the people like Andrew, Alex, Hing. Yeah. yeah. And uh, what is it? Uh, Jeremy, Jerry, James. Yep. And uh, then Jeff, Ferdows, Jeff Shah, from, uh, Alex, Jasmine, yeah. Ferdows. Yeah. There we go. They're all yeah. Everybody's yeah. 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 Everybody sort of around. Yeah. So, yeah, and know. then we have got people from Asia Briggs, which is right over there. Yeah, which is over there. Uh, yeah. Jeffrey Poir. <laughs> yep. Thank yeah, you so much Kim. for. for uh, and uh, also a shout out to Faris for lending us his um, lightsaber replica collection. And to Keisha, who's in Australia, for his Black Series. For his well. Black Series. As well. And yeah. Darren for inviting us here. Yes, and Darren from Anigongaki for inviting us here. And Asia Break for joining us here too. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's a whole alliance. It's a whole yeah. alliance. Oh, yeah. yeah. Alex too, Alex is here. Alex <laughs> oh, oh, here too. Yeah. Exactly. And Fast is around. And Fast is around, yeah. Fast is around Vincent somewhere. Yeah. There, yeah. 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 So Thank you so much to Fast as well. Thank you so much to Fight Saber for coming to support. And right. the X-Wing Gamers, Gilbert is oh, here. Right. Yeah. Amada yeah. and X-Wing is here too. Amada yeah. and X-Wing is here. Yeah, they're yeah, we have somewhere more, amongst yeah. all the waving lightsabers that you see, uh, they're they're around. They're oh, definitely oh, around. Nice. So, yeah. Oh, nice. oh, oh nice. wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't we bring it up on camera? <laughs> uh, here we go. What's the color, sir? Alex, why don't you explain to us what this is? Oh, this is a saber force silver knight. Mm -hmm. uh, it's based on the expanded universe legacy uh, series. Uh, Okay. So it's an Imperial Knight lightsaber. Nice. Imperial Knight. Okay. Wow. There you go. Oh, it looks like Qui-Gon's one, right? No, not quite. No, Qui-Gon's. No. Qui-Gon's Qui yeah. is that yeah. one. But the, the thing here. Yeah. The, 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 the shroud, lah. That's yeah. what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. It's nice, though. But you, yeah, but you didn't get the moment sound or anything. No, no. This is a stun. This is a stun. Nice. And uh, how and much did it cost all of Oh, this. Uh, this one costs like a thousand bucks. Wow. Without the sound? Without sound. I mean, after conversion. After conversion. Yeah. Of course, because it's three yeah, three. Yeah, it's like one to three anyway. It's yeah. like one to four yeah. now. I mean, US yeah. dollar? Yeah. No, 4.3. Yeah, 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 this is from Singapore. No, no, no. It's oh, okay, okay. It's the Singapore from the US. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Singapore from the US. 4.21. 4.21. Yeah, 4.21. Yeah, 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 there you go. So, you know, to, to, to people who are not so nonplussed about the currency exchange rate, um, all the fandoms, not just ours, all are suffering. Because oh, by the way, we have Nicholas Law there. Yeah. Speaking oh. about suffering, uh, it's another time that we're going to be suffering that's coming up very soon, an event that we didn't talk about, but okay. just next week, right? Okay. Yeah, the 4th Friday. Uh, the 4th, yes. Yeah. So we'll be uh, hanging out at Toys R Us because Toys R Us in Mid Valley is yeah. going to be having a yeah. Night Madness 4th Friday event. And yep. we'll be on hand, the 6 of us will be on hand, and uh, uh, I'm thinking what, Fast will be there as yeah, well. Yeah, Fast will be there. Lego people will yep. be there. Even the 5 of us Legion, Malaysia Outpost will be there as well. Yeah. Sorry, so, I'm going to interject right now. I am currently holding a Sabre map. Oh. Okay, the this one, what, 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 now this is from Singapore, by the way. Uh, this yeah. is, uh, by the way, one, one, do, one dollar to three ringgit. Yeah, yeah, yeah much cheaper. Much cheaper. <laughs> much cheaper. Yeah. And, yeah. and what, what model is this? This is the... Yeah. Invigorator? Invigorator. Invigorator, yeah. yeah. Okay. Wow. Can someone distract Alex? I'll just run in the opposite direction. <laughs> you didn't see anything, guys. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Credits will be fine. Video bombers okay. everywhere. Oh, okay, yeah, we know. Because I missed this auction the last time. Ah, there, you go, man, thanks, yeah. there you go. So. Yeah, the person you hear, yeah, that was Nicholas Chan, by the way. Yeah. 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 I'm here! <laughs> oh, you're not. No, 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 no. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, so. So, yeah, we did mention there we go. Force Friday. Okay. Yes, we have Force Friday coming yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's on the 4th of September. 4th of September. Well, hopefully, this will be out by then. I'm not sure. It better be. I hope so. <laughs> okay, so, on to the most interesting things that have happened this week. The first thing that we want to talk about is the new teaser that was released on the Star Wars Instagram account of all places. Yeah. The Star Wars Instagram account. But you know why it was released on Instagram? Because Instagram just had its new layout change thingy, yeah. so they like timed it with that. So, yeah. yeah. And uh, for those of you that haven't seen it, uh, well, whatever, this is a spoiler. You haven't seen spoiler, it by now. Yeah, yeah. Finn is holding Luke's old lightsaber. That's right. What does this mean? What does, I, it, what does it mean? I am of a what personal does it mean? opinion, right? I, I could be dead wrong here. Yeah. I haven't read any of the spoilers, so my personal opinion is, is that I know knowing, knowing Abrams and how he's done his work before, right? He's one of those people who doesn't like to give away a lot of plots and he likes plot twists as well. 
you know. So because of that, I have a feeling that it's going to be a bait and switch where we are being led to believe that it's Finn that is the new Jedi in training. But my bet's on Rey. I think Rey is. But the question now is that why is he a stormtrooper and then also holding a lightsaber? Maybe he was a stormtrooper who was running away for something he witnessed and he got into his possession this lightsaber and he wanted to find out whose lightsaber this is. And then, you know, he goes on and finds it on Jakku and things like that. But there are a lot right. of people who's asking in the Facebook actually, is, this, is he a stormtrooper or is he a Jedi? Why can't but, he be both though, right? I suppose you can be both. You could yeah. have started off as a stormtrooper. Speaking of stormtroopers actually. Yeah, we have we our... Have a, uh, we yeah. have a couple of cost... Uh, we have a few... We have Django Fett, we have a clone trooper. Is that Commander Cody? No. It's, uh, Neo. it's an art trooper. Come, 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 come. Come, 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 here, behind us, yeah, just be our bodyguards, background. right? Just gonna be our bodyguards for this. Imperials. <laughs> no, they're clones. clones. Army of the Republic. They're clones. <laughs> you know, they have they have no allegiance other than to whoever. And a Mandalorian. Lives in, <laughs> lives in 500 Republica at yeah. any one time. Yeah, there we yeah, go, yeah. exactly. So yeah, going back to ah, the discussion. Right. So the discussion, about, yeah. yeah. So no, I mean, you're asking you know, whether he's a stormtrooper, whether he's a Jedi, right? Yeah. Let's just take Han Solo then. Han Solo was in the Imperial Academy. He was destined to be a stormtrooper. Yeah. But he left and he became a smuggler. And on Hoth, when he needs to save Luke, he actually picks up Luke's lightsaber Saber, yeah. and cuts the tauntaun and says, you know, this is going to smell bad, kid. And, oh. you know, but it's going to keep you warm. So exactly, if you yeah. were to project that sequence where you have, you know, Harrison Ford, or in this case Han Solo, holding the lightsaber and you take that screen grab or screen clip, yeah. you, you know, if you were living in the 1970s, you'd be yeah. like, oh, Han oh, Solo's Han's a Jedi. Jedi. Yeah. And he was he, a stormtrooper, not destined uh, to be this. He is worthy to actually light up the saber. Yes. So it's like, it's worthy it, to it pull up the moon, the moon it, right? You see Finn, Finn is like, <laughs> this saber, like, like he has no idea what to do with it. Same way he did it. Yeah. He just, he just knew how to turn it on. I think that's about it. That's yeah. about it. How to actually use it probably completely escapes him. Yeah. Well, you know, if uh, you know, uh, if activation this, switches work the same, I guess. You know, everywhere in every galaxy. Here right? to here to switch on, right? Yeah. yeah, exactly. So okay, so your opinion is that we're not. He's not an actual Jedi. Yeah, someone else. I believe it's Ray. I I actually believe it's Ray as well. You know. So yeah. Oh, there we go. And Sean is. No, I mean, Vader's imagine universe. if you hold it this way, then you turn it on. It's okay. But you just go, oh, zing. Guess yeah. what happens? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I have a feeling only Sean would actually do that. <laughs> That's the thing. I think only Sean. You just read my mind. You have exactly. the boss now. Yeah, exactly. You know, I mean, uh, uh, yeah, you know, because nobody in their right minds would point the emitter at their faces and then switch something on. Especially if you know it's a lightsaber, you know, a civilized weapon. Okay, so, but well, actually, I, I agree with you. I actually think it is a bait and switch because uh, we all know uh, Trekkies are going to hate this when you mention this. Um, the reboots and Into oh, Darkness, right? right? Where know. it's all. It, it, it's John Harrison. What? What? No, this is no one else. It's John Harrison. It's not, uh, you know, it's not any other character that you could possibly think of from Star Trek's past. Yeah. And then it's. Cut. Cut. Yeah, you know, so, you know, oh, spoiler for Trek fans. Um, but yeah, you know, I, JJ has previous uh, when it comes to switching around uh, and um, toying with expectations. So right. I actually do think it will be Ray. Yeah. Although a dark horse for this might actually be Poe. Oh, oh, that too, yeah. It is but, possible. But it is possible. Yeah. But it looks like, like Poe is almost the Han Solo archetype, uh, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly, uh, yeah. Uh, because, um, I don't know, I think there was a rumor going around. Oh yeah, he, he when he spoke to, he himself revealed that he flies the Millennium Falcon. Right, right. Uh, in yeah. in uh, the Force Awakens, right. because um, he asked uh, he asked uh, um, Harrison Ford. So, are there any tips for flying the Millennium Falcon in space? And he's yeah. like, it's all fake, kids. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, the troopers are going off. Yeah. See you, right, everybody. Guys. See you guys. Right. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. you. Hope you enjoyed the show. Yeah. Something yeah. just hit me right here, right now. Yeah. Caught on camera. I think you know that that, that the amused expression on my face, but. If they were again just mining the EU and looking at you know how these characters interplay with each wait, other, wait, 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 you have to say the same thing. Quick, did you have an idea? Yes, I had an idea. There we go. <laughs>
<laughs> so just imagine now, right? If more, you know, there's going to have to be a, a love story somewhere or the other, right? Yeah. And okay. hypothetically, it's going to be Ray and Paul. Like, you think that, right? Unless they really do something out of the box and it's like Ray and you know, Finn. Finn or that or Ray and Paul, Paul and Finn. Who knows? You never know. Paul and but, Finn. Yeah. Possible. It's the okay. 21st century. Sure. Okay, okay. It's the 21st okay. century, and uh, the Star Wars comics right, recently whatever had. Whatever fantasy you. That's right. <laughs> the Star Wars yeah. comics recently had their first openly LGBT LGBT character. Exactly. Yeah, yes. Lesbian smuggler, if I'm not mistaken. That's that's what she was an officer, imperial officer. Oh, sorry, a lesbian. With, yeah. yeah, a lesbian imperial officer. Imperial officer. officer yeah. And she was sorry. awesome in the figures too. That's, that's right. There we go. Yeah. And, and oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Say hello. And, and hello. Fast. Oh. Adam, come. Yes. All right. Yeah, this is fast. Right and uh, this is uh, this is Vincent from Fast. No, it's not. Excuse me, Vincent. Adam. Adam. Vincent. Adam. 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 Adam
right? The brightest spot. I That's suppose so. Actually, no, I really like the movie. I, I thought the movie got more hate than it deserved, actually. Right. Yeah, there's no reasoning with you, Sean. Sorry. 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 What did I say? It's just face. Right? It's just it's just a face. Yeah, it's just a face that does it. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> Feel the force emanating. No face. But uh, I think we've discussed it before, where um, where how in the expanded universe, the Rogue One mission, as it is, has actually been explained in the expanded universe. There is a version of it. Yes. Yes. Correct. Right. That is right. Uh, yeah. Yep. So what happens uh, in the, the books? I think it's a person called Briar Terran who. Uh, Interestingly enough, it has like an affair with Han Solo and all as well in the past. Yep. And we are see, seeing something similar now going on in the book, so in the comic book series Star Wars that takes place, in you know, the Marvel Star Wars that takes place between A New Hope and The Empire Strikes Back. But that's the story for another day, I guess. Yep. But here, so Brad Heron and Han Solo uh, you know, were a thing, but then she decides to support the rebel cause. And what happens is, is that they do an operation known as Operation Spider. Okay. Okay, which is basically stealing the Death Star plans yeah. from a forest moon or not really a moon but a forest planet known as Toprawa. Uh-huh. Okay, and so the plans are like beamed from the like router to Toprawa and then it's picked up in Toprawa and then they do like almost like a suicide mission to yeah. retrieve the plans. And yeah. that group that tries to retrieve the plans, most of them don't make it. Yeah. Oh. But the plans do get sent over and beamed aboard the Dante 4 and that segues into A New Hope where New Hope. the Dante 4 is being the chased down ship by... is being chased down by the Devastator. Yeah. So, yeah. so that that is in a nutshell, essentially, I think what Rogue One is going to be about. More or less. More or yes. less. Um, there's no word on whether the actors themselves have multi-picture deals. You know, like yeah. like the tradition now is that if you're signed up for multiple movies, the studio will announce it. Right. You know. Uh, yeah. But actually, um, uh, other than uh, actually from the Force Awakens, seven, eight, and nine, right, the new trilogy. Oh. Yep. Um, they actually haven't announced. It. Uh, who's going to be a new picture deals other than the three new leads. That's right. Yeah. Right? Exactly. So we actually have no idea whether or not the old... Uh, the, oh, okay, I use the word old now. We're all old. Yeah, we all old, right? The veterans of the series, your Luke, Leia, and Han, whether they will make it past episode 7. We have no confirmation either way whether they'll make it past episode 7 or not. That's right. The other three, um, John Boyega, Daisy Ridley, and Oscar Isaac, yeah, they are, are signed confirmed. Up for three. They're confirmed for the next few movies in the trilogy, but the original trilogy actors... Yeah. Yeah, it, yeah. it's an open book, whether they are coming back or you know whether they'll meet their noble ends, we are assuming, in those three, which probably will happen. Uh, I, I mean, think. I have a feeling as well, something will happen in episode 7, but that's just my opinion as well. Yeah, I think it, in order to give it a clean break from whatever's happened before, That's right, it's, it's more of the, the you know, yeah. unfortunately it's old, but again, you know, out of the old and in with the new, yeah. but there needs to be a nice transition there. You know, and yeah, so, yeah. right, you had the, the Liam Neeson in episode one, and you've had um, um, you, uh, what do you call this, uh, Salak Guinness in A New Hope. Uh, then he came back in five and six. That's true. That's true. Force, yeah. the that's Force right. goes. Exactly. Uh, well, Qui Gon came back too, right? Yes. yes. No one can know. In yeah, episode two. That's so, so yeah, um, I should. This, this is why I'm actually really excited for Rogue One because it's going to be different. You, you can tell from the cast photo already. It's going to be going to have a different tone. Yeah. It's going to have a different. They're uh, calling it the color palette. Saving Private Ryan in Star Wars. Yeah. Of some sort. That, that sounds bloody epic. To yeah. be honest with you, because the, the cool thing is, is, is that the director of photography. Yeah. Did movies like, if I'm not mistaken, Black Hawk Down and Band of Brothers as well. So we already know what the, the DP is, you know, going to do an angle with his shots. Oh, uh, he also did Zero Dark Thirty. And Zero Dark Thirty. Zero Dark Thirty. Well. Yeah. So yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I, I don't know. I would love to be able to verbalize my excitement any yeah. more than I possibly can right now. The thing is that, you know, it just means it's another year to wait. Even after The Force Awakens is over, I'll be sitting there in the cinema, okay, I'll be digesting whatever's happening and all that. But the moment I'm out, an hour later, when we're going to all be having a drink together, I'll be like, ah, oh, crap, it's a year Before till, the next one. Till, the, yeah. till Rogue One. Yep. You know, it's like, ah, oh, crap. At least it's just a year and not like 10 years or you know, two decades. You right? know, or so. maybe not at all because nobody knew whether the original trilogy was even going to get a, a second movie. Yeah. Empire wasn't actually going to get off the ground at all unless yeah. Star Wars did good business. That's right. Right? And they did. I don't Actually, I don't, saw that coming. Yeah, I don't know if the, if um, I don't know what how, how well our viewers know, uh, our viewers and listeners know in history, but actually George Lucas did not even attend the premiere 
yeah. right? Yeah. Of the original of Star Wars original movie Star Wars. in 1977 because he thought it was going to bomb. Right. He went on holiday to Hawaii for three weeks, came back to a barrage of mail, yeah. you know, and post... No, and and they, yeah. they were very sure, I mean, like, like even 20th Century Fox was pretty confident that it probably will tank or bomb in the box office. Yeah. Uh, you know, blockbusters weren't even invented back then. It was only 30 or 32 theaters where it was actually yep. screened. You know, and then you had lines around the block day after day, week after week, month after month. And that's the term where blockbuster comes from. Yeah. Because it literally busted the blocks. Yeah, we go. yeah, and that's another thing that we've all learned again today. So, yeah. so Rogue One, Force Awakens, teaser, club updates. I think we're good for today. I think so. Um, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, thank you so much for listening and watching. And uh, we hope to see you guys in future events. Hopefully after this, those of you that haven't collected your memberships will have collected your memberships. Uh, we don't have any word yet on when we're going to do another membership drive because frankly, we we haven't even finished the last one. So, yeah. Yeah. We, we have 500 plus members and 600 including the juniors. So we like to take care of them and then we'll take care of you. Also. Okay. All right. So final words, guys. Hello there. In a fourth video. Okay. All right. This is Rafi from Some Nation signing off. May the force be with you.